the show of hands, how many of uh, do you know of someone affected by cancer? According to a statistic provided by the National Cancer Society, there are over 1.4 million uh, new cases of cancer estimated to come up in uh, 2009 in the United States. That means 44% of men and 37% of women might develop cancer in their lifetime. This alarming statistic should not be ignored as uh, cancer has become the second leading cause of death behind heart disease according to the National Center of Disease Control and Prevention. What can we do? Cancer has become such a big part of our lives that we must learn all we can about the cancer treatment options available for uh, cancer. Science has gone a long way to develop cancer treatments available to us, and none of them should be overlooked. There are three types of uh, cancer treatment uh, available. Uh, first one is conventional treatment. The second one is conditional, <coughs> complementary, and uh, the third one is clinical trials. Let us begin by uh, learning first about the first uh, category of cancer treatment, conventional treatment. By definition uh, of the European Journal of Cancer Care, conventional Cancer care refers to supportive cancer care recognized in cancer policy. Such care includes radiation therapy, chemotherapy, and surgery. Radiation therapy refers to the use of high energy rays to kill cancer cells. Chemotherapy refers to the use of drugs, and surgery refers to surgery to remove cancer cells manually. Surgery is the most effective um, treatment option available to cancers on stages one, but less effective on cancer stages two, three, and four. Now that we have a basic understanding of conventional treatment options, let's move on to complementary treatment. Complementary treatment refers to non-conventional treatment options. Uh, they're not recognized uh, in cancer policy, but they do have uh, anti-cancer properties. One type of complementary treatment uh, involves the use of vitamins and extracts. For example, phytic acid and extract found in legumes have anti-cancer properties. And uh, according to International Journal of Food Science and Technology, uh, and phytic acid uh, demonstrated uh, strongly to anti-cancer properties. Curcumin, a uh, extract found in curry, um, is another antioxidant used to interfere with cancer growth. In a study published last year on uh, cancer biomarkers and prevention. Scientists gave three different groups of mice varying amounts of curcumin, and um, the group that received the most amount of curcumin had a 40% decrease of the benign tumor responsible for cancer in humans. Complementary uh, cancer treatment may or may not benefit the patient as uh, because it has adverse uh, side effects and uh, they're not recognized officially uh, as cancer treatment by the cancer treatment. Finally, let's move on to the third of uh, cancer treatment option, which is clinical trials. Clinical trial refer refers to ongoing experiments <coughs> Uh, to treat cancer. There are currently over 79,000 um, trials ongoing in 171 different countries. For example, 
immunotherapy is a uh, cancer uh, clinical trial. According to an article in Time magazine of September 14, 2009, uh, immunotherapy involves redesigning the immune system through vaccines to better target cancer cells. This process is broken down into three steps. Cancer cells hide uh, among healthy cells to conceal their malignant proteins, which makes it difficult for our bodies to recognize and eliminate cancer cells. Immunotherapy vaccines contain snippets, snippets of these proteins, and they train our immune system to better understand uh, the cancer cell and eliminate it easier. Vaccine uh, then release compounds to slow down the tumor's, tumor's growth. Finally, the vaccine modifies the body's T cells, which are used to eliminate invading cells so the body can eliminate the cancer faster. While clinical trials are a classification of cancer treatment, one should approach clinical trials with caution as they're simply experiments on, and may or may not help the cancer condition. In review, there are three categories of cancer treatment, conventional, complementary, and clinical trials. Let us remember that cancer is a problem that should never be overlooked. As I mentioned earlier, it is the second cause of death in the United States, and I certainly hope this presentation has been informative as it is interesting. Thanks for the talk.